From the 1970s to the 1990s, the Sullivanians, a psychosexual therapy group on Manhattan's Upper West Side, the men, the women, children, and their therapists lived in same-sex group apartments where their every move was monitored and dictated. I've held on to these documents for over 40 years. This first document, Escape from Utopia, published in the Village Voice in 1986, tells about a former member, a former therapist, who had a child and that child was taken away from her and she was denied any access. So she needed to go into hiding with her child. The next article, published a few months later, also in the Village Voice, West Side Cult Faces Second Custody Fight, tells of two fathers seeking custody for their children who were still with the mothers who were in the Sullivanians. And then, in 1989, in New York Magazine, psychodrama, the chilling story of how the Sullivanian cult turned a utopian dream into a nightmare, tells a 10-page story of the seemingly benign beginnings of the group till its eventual demise and the custody battles as well. I joined the Sullivanians in 1973 and left in 1978. My life was irreparably changed and this is my story. My sister called to tell me the cancer had come back and our mother had died. My sister and I hadn't spoken in three years but she was calling to tell me that the service was the next day as per Orthodox tradition. I told her I wasn't sure I could make it, and she hung up. Before the group, I had had sex with five men. By the time I left five years later, the count was well over 70. Saul Newton's approach to sexuality in the group, unlimited sex for all with a variety of partners, forced alienation. With no choice in much of your life controlled by others, this was easy to accomplish. The Sullivanians are largely forgotten now, except for the members, 500 at its zenith, who survived the sexual, emotional, psychological, and financial control of the Institute and its therapists. <laughs>